Hello, hello everybody. And I thought I'd tackle one more big project this weekend before the week starts. So, what you see here is my 75 gallon fire red shrimp tank. And it is getting... I just recently, just yesterday actually, and you may have seen the video where I caught out 300 shrimp out of here. And so what I'm wanting to do is clear this moss out so that it's easier to manage the shrimp. Because these shrimp, I mean, they're still really really good there's still lots of really good fire red quality shrimp in here but there are getting to be some that are not quite up to standards and I try I try to catch them all and the males are pretty easy especially when they're out swimming around you can see a lot of the lower quality males swimming around if you look real close but I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it all in one video but I'm going to clear out this great big huge clump of moss I really really liked it when it was when it was under control and so this tank the corners had little have Ludwigi in it and it was overgrown covering up all the Anubias on both sides and as you can see there are Anubias here and there's Anubias here that's almost fully consumed some really small Anubias that I want to get that under control too so what I'm going to do is rip all this moss out and then we'll see just how many shrimp are in here. It's going to be pretty tough. I'm sure I'm going to end up catching a bunch of shrimp. What I may end up doing, it may be easier to catch the best when I go to do the calling part of it, is to catch the best of the best shrimp maybe like a hundred of the best ones I can find then catch all the other ones and put in what I'm gonna start calling my cherry shrimp colony which is one of my 40 gallon tanks so let's get started on this first thing I want to do is I got this bucket here five gallon bucket water is already pretty low in here I did water changes and right after I did my water changes Uh, then cut out all the shrimp and I scooped up a bunch of water so the water level is already kind of low alright got to get enough water in here to keep the moss sweat so right now I don't have an arrangement in place to sell all this moss. So, I'm going to take out all of it and put back what I want to get it started again because I like this moss. But I just got to get it under control so that I can manage these shrimp a little easier. So, the hard part is, and this is really thick too, it's going to want to just come out in one giant clump. So I'm going to just take little tiny bits of it. Oh, i got a tablet down here I need to put so I don't drip water on it. Okay. 
little bits at a time. Shake it off. And make sure you get all the shrimp off. So, said I don't have a buyer for sale lined up for this moss, which I try to do before I go and rip it out. But I got some time. So I figured I'd go ahead and do this. I probably end up doing the shrimp calling, but I'm not going to be able to call all the shrimp. One good, wow! It just was like floated. That's pretty crazy. What's underneath there? There's some dead moss, but not a lot. Not as much as you'd expect. So. I'm not sure if I've said this already, but I really, really, really don't want to have to do this because this moss looks so good. Well, I think this is what? It's the very end of March. And I'm thinking I redid this tank. Oh. I'm thinking... May, June. So this started as just a little patch. Let's turn into this. And if we do miss any shrimp, we're going in a five gallon bucket full of water. And then I can sort through and see if I can find any shrimp. Let's see, I just shook it off. And there's a few little baby shrimp. Let's see what that's in. Yeah, it's in front pretty good. So, shoot off a little baby shrimp. I don't want you in my bucket. So, pretty fire red shrimp. So we'll see. I have I really don't have a clue how many shrimp are in here because you can't tell anything with all this moss. When I agreed to sell 300, I knew I'm I was fairly certain there's 300 in it. Oh, I knew there's over 300, but I don't know if there's another 300 or another 3,000 in here to be honest. So that's oh, great. They consumed this so much. Let's see if we can get this little babies out of here. Get all the moss out of it. Replant it. It's just ravaged by snails, but it's healthy looking even though it's covered in moss and has a couple hundred snails on it still looks pretty spectacular I think let's see that's showing up yeah that's a pretty cool piece of Anubis there okay so let that chill there that thing is probably three or four times bigger, even while it was covered in moss. It's been growing up. I may, yeah, I probably will, have to end up vacuuming out the underneath this, because who knows what we're left with underneath here. I don't know. But it's going to look dull and. And. Look at that. Just another patch of moss. Nothing spectacular about it for three or four months. Then probably by the time fall hits, 
this is going to look pretty sweet again. It's almost like a, just, yeah, there's some stuff down here at the bottom. Yeah, that's what's down at the bottom. Oh my God, that, that's covered in shrimp too. Nice. We have a mess. So this is just going to get thrown away. Got another bucket here. That slop. The original moss down at the very bottom just turned into slop. Which, and it stinks too. Interesting. There's friggin' shrimp covered in it. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, right. The tank is gonna be a cloudy mess. Looks like for a while. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that <laughs> until I got all this top stuff taken out. Guess you live and learn. I guess next year when I do this. I don't know better. Okay. I'm not going to make another 45 an hour long video of me doing this like I do from time to time. We'll check back in when we're getting further along and it makes sense to show what's, ever, what's going on. Because right now, it's just going to be a mess. <laughs> All right. I'll check back in here in a little bit. So here we are making a bigger dent into it. <laughs> We've got about all of it and most of it was good healthy moss. I'll show you guys here at the end how much of it was not so good. But actually the middle of it, I think what had happened is the bottom and the middle started to turn to mush and sank to the bottom and then the rest of it because what it is i attach it to the substrate and it grows out grows out grows out and then the middle died off and sunk to the bottom and that allowed the top to float but it was all matted together so it looked like but anyway it looked pretty awesome i'm this is, i'm excited about this anubius in here this anubius looks really nice not just the little ones but the big ones they're getting really big and healthy and now that I've cut all the oh let's see here cut all the you can still see it right there I completely lopped off all of the Ludwigia growing in the corners there when I sold all the shrimp I took all my Ludwigia and there's another one in the corner there I cut it all the way down to the very bottom leaves so that it'll grow back it'll take a while for it to get going more than likely but once it gets going it'll grow back super fast I'm sure of that so I'll show you getting the rest of this out of here. I, there's really there, there's tons of shrimp in here, but kind of thought there might be a little more in this, but I'm not disappointed or anything. Just means culling is going to be a lot easier. When I sold all these shrimp. wanted some fire reds and some cherries I thought, well I'll give you a real good price for a whole bunch from this tank and you can figure out what is what so that's what I agreed on all right let's see what we end up with here the rest of that is kind of icky 
put this. Here's a good little piece right here. Shake off any possible shrimp. The bottom, I want to vacuum it, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It really isn't. That's kind of it right there. Oh, there's another. Uh, it started attaching to the glass there. Like, what is this thing? And that's a nice healthy batch, and it's got 100 shrimp on it. Okay, that's a keeper. That's good healthy shrimp, or good healthy moss. So now looking at this, I think I'm just going to get the vacuum out and we have to clear out the moss that is on the sponge filter so it's just going to take off and go crazy but yeah we got a got a mess in here we'll do some vacuuming and that ought to get it taken care of so I guess the next thing I'll do is try to vacuum some of that mulm up off the bottom there that was underneath where the moss was. So what I want to do, I want to let it sit here and calm down a little bit. Let the all the crap I stirred up let it get settled down so then it's going to be easier to vacuum it up. And then what we're going to do is i got a whole bunch of the quilt batting. I want to stuff some of that and at least one of these filters overnight. And that'll get it, that'll get it all cleared up. And when I do the, I'll do the shrimp call video on these guys. Probably Monday or Tuesday, depending on what's going on around here and what I feel like doing, to be honest, because I am working, so I got to go back to work tomorrow. I'm considered an essential employee because I work on the country's infrastructure. I manage, I help manage. My job is vegetation management and utility right of ways so we'll see how hard I gotta work this week and see what I feel like doing when I get home but hopefully we'll get all this cleaned up and we'll see what happens I'm gonna let it settle for another 10-15 minutes or so and then I've already got it hooked up to the sink and ready to go. I'm going to do the vacuuming with my python. And that is actually, believe it or not, my rubber bands went bad and I couldn't find any more. There's some dog hair on there. And take off. This is like one of them little tiny cheap 59 cent nets. I cut the netting out. And it's held on there with, I stole a hair tie from my wife and daughters. So, that's what we'll be doing. That is going to keep snail shells and shrimp, mainly, from getting sucked up into the python and going down the drain. Or snail shells going up the python and clogging up the, the sink siphon, the venturi siphon part. So that's what that is there for. I always do this. I have this on all. I've always had this on there for my water changes. So I just wanted to. That's how I'm making sure I'm not sucking up shrimp or clogging up my python with snail shells or plant debris or anything like that. There's another little quick tip. 
for you. So I'll be back here. It'll be instantly for you. It's going to be 10, 15, 20 minutes for me. So let it settle down and then we'll get the vacuuming. Okay, so here we are. Let's see how much of this we can vacuum up. Well, we don't stir it up too bad. Looks like it's going pretty good. Well, there's going to be a bunch of moss and crap that clogs it up. So this is going to be a... Oh yeah, there's about an inch of mold. And there'll be little dead strands of moss in there too that we'll have to periodically scrape off that net there that I showed you. The key thing here is going to be not stirring it up. And getting it back in the water column. That is going to be the key thing here. And I can tell it is slowing down. And yeah, we're clogged up real good there. So we're gonna. Yeah, we're clogged up a lot. Right there, if you can see that, hook can. Gonna pick off all this sludge. Right, there's snails on here too, so that's nice. Okay. Yeah, that cleaned it up pretty good. So now we'll go back to working on clearing out our, our crap here. There's going to be slip for a minute, clear out, crap for a minute, and if you look, you can see the crap flowing down the python tube, so that starts getting slow, like it is now already. Let me take it up. It's a lot of snails. And what seems to be empty snail shells and some live snails. I actually just picked out thousands of snails out of this tank. So I'm going to get down. And a few pieces of moss get stuck to it. Of course. Get that screen cleared off. I'll go back to sucking crud. And it sucks real good. Like the first 10 seconds. And it slowly gets gunked up. And I could do my thing where I stick my power head thing in here and stir it all up, but I don't want to mess this tank up. I'm not restarting it. I'm not completely redoing it. Just getting rid of some of this. Starting to get a nice clear patch there. It's not caked in mom. It's 
so not slowing down. I'm cleaning the thing out again. So you guys see how this process is going to go. <laughs> Long, slow, and tedious. But we'll get there. So, so I'm not going to try to keep this video, it's still going to be probably too long, but <laughs> I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter than some of these ones I've been doing like this. So, check back in when the vacuum is done. So I've got this new little toy here, I've actually used it the last I think a couple of my last videos, but yeah, trying to get you guys a better picture. The camera I use is my Samsung Note 10 Plus, or not Samsung, or yeah it is, I don't know. I don't know, I just know it was the best phone you could get at the time, and I, I've never done that before. So, and I think my wife and daughter just come in, they're screaming at me to help carry groceries in. But, so you can see I've made a pretty good dent into the vacuuming. I actually had to fill the tank up with more water because I got, ended up getting so low that the aqua clear quit working and I don't like to do that. So I stopped and put some more water in it. And you can see the there's not as many shrimp as I thought but the quality of the shrimp I'm still pretty happy with there's certainly some calling to do in here for sure but the quality of the shrimp I'm still fairly happy with there's definitely some calling some cherry grade type, but most or at least the Sakura are better. When there would be a Sakura, that one would end up being a call. Where you can see the sat, the ones you can see the saddles would be the female calls. But they're still a really good quality. They're better than just a cherry shrimp. Some of the males. That would just be. There's some males that are just cherry shrimp that I gotta get rid of. There would be. That female needs taken out. She's buried, but you can see, you can clearly see the eggs. I mean, she, you'd be able to see them anyway, but. She would be. Well, that's a really good shrimp right there. So I'm pretty happy with them. Because at first I originally was planning on picking out the best of the best. Going that route. But for one, there's a few less shrimp in here than I thought. I thought I would be completely overran. That would be a massive job. So that's why I thought about just picking the best of the best but the quality is still pretty good when with all that moss gone I'm still gonna replant some with all that moss gone it's keeping on top of these guys is gonna be a whole lot easier there's a really nice one Pleco, he's one of the Plecos that avoided getting caught when we've been selling Plecos. And so now I think these bigger ones, I'm just going to let them grow up.
They're doing pretty good. I'm gonna let them grow up. And I think this one is even starting to get some bristles on him. I saw him flaring his gills out. He's gonna be a boy. Let's see. And all the loose moss pieces getting stuck up on the sponge pre-filter that I have set up. Alright. I'll get up here and check back in later with this. This is ended up being a big project. Yeah, okay, so it's this is what I've ended up with. It's still I didn't get everything vacuumed out perfect, but I got a lot of it. And it's it's still uh, when I planted, I stir it up real bad. So I guess I could have got that newbie sleep out, but that's what we'll end up with. That is pretty much exactly how it, how it started off with. I might bring it out a little bit further out. I might put another. But I don't think I will because it's when you plant this, you gotta remember it doesn't just grow up like a, it grows out in all directions at a pretty even rate. So it won't be long, it'll be all the way to the rock, all the way to that rock, and all the way out here as well. So, and then my filter. Put some um, dog bite. They don't fight for real, but I have little arguments. Put some of the quilt batting. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Hmm. You guys better be calming down. You better be calming down. Uh, all right, everybody. Thank y'all for watching. Bye. Oops, I lied. As soon as I sit down, I look and see that little newbie is sitting there. So there, that is. And there's how she looks now. Of course, I'll do a follow-up video on this when it clears up and you get a better vision of it. I'll probably do some more vacuuming just to clear that up, but. These, this has pretty good flow and usually eventually over time when it's not covered in moss the exposed substrate stays relatively clean because there is an Aqu Aquilon 75 and an Aquaclear 110 going so the flow in here is really good it's just a dead spot because it was covered in moss so I'm sure it'll get stirred up pretty good. And if it don't, I'll vacuum, vacuum it up. Alright, let's try it again. Thanks for watching. Bye.